Okay, here's what you gotta do right now. You gotta relax, you gotta focus up, because we're, it's gonna start getting hot and heavy real soon, all right? Here it is, question one. Where is the Lincoln Memorial located? Long Island, Washington, D.C., or Duluth? The Lincoln Memorial, it's on the back of the penny and the $5 bill, but also in Washington, D.C. That's where it physically rests. In the old capital, our nation's capital, 6,075 people got it right. They know their Lincoln Memorials, and they're moving on to question two. Scoring at least 10 points, rebounds, and assists in basketball is called a what? Triple-double, technical foul, or touchdown? 10 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. You get three categories with double digits. That's a triple-double in basketball, and the NBA season is underway. If you're watching, 5,446 people got it right. You know, last year's MVP, Russell Westbrook, was only the second player ever to average a triple-double for the entire season. That's insane! Question three. What entertainment website's name means 30-mile zone? ESPN, Deadline Hollywood, or TMZ? Thirty-mile zone. You see the initials there? TMZ, not a trick question. TMZ is the answer. Maybe TMZ will be covering me one day in HQ. 4,801 people got it right. 30 mile zone for the 30 mile area where most of the film studios in Hollywood are. The more you know. Question four. Seattle was the birthplace of which music genre? Glam metal, grunge, or free jazz? It's not like free Tibet, free jazz. No, <laughs> jazz is not locked up. It's not being uh, taken over by anybody. Free jazz, experimental jazz. Why am I talking about it? I'm jazzing right now, but that's not the answer. The answer is grunge. Come on, flannel shirts, Eddie Vedder, Nirvana, Soundgarden, Chris Cornell, all that. Yeah, 4,086 people remember the grunge era, Alice in Chains. Any other Seattle grunge bands you like? Let me know in the chat. Let me know your favorite grunge band in the chat. Question. Fiverr, what do Edward Norton and Christian Schlater share? Birthday, piano teacher, or aunt mother? Christian Slater, tough, tough, tough name to say. Edward Norton and Christian Slater. <laughs> Christian Schlater, so it all runs together. Well, these two were born together, I mean, separately, but on the same day, they had the same exact birthday in the same exact year, they share a birthday. Wow, 2,584 people got it right. August 18th, 19th edition Robinson is the answer. You know, people are saying I'm weird in the chat. I guess they're saying I'm weird. Yeah, I am weird, baby. This is HQ. This is how we do. I got the good good. I'm also wired. <laughs> weird and wired. Look, it's a hot day here. It's like 95 degrees in October. Question seven. What kind of writing is rewarded with a Hugo Award? Horror fiction, science fiction, or mystery? Oh, I also had a yerba mate. Maybe that's why I'm wired. <laughs> Just chugged a yerba mate. I'm asking about Hugo Awards, the Hugos. Not Hugo Boss, this isn't fashion. It's science fiction and fantasy, sci-fi for the win. 339, but they don't have a hotel, and 208 people got it. Correct. Shout out to the new HQ tri Trivia Twitter followers, Lauren Luches, Bettina Profiti, Raju Mudhar, Tim Freitas, Elizabeth Gebhardt, and Kara Haupt. How you doing, guys? Thanks for following us. You can follow us, too, at HQ Trivia, and you can send us photos of yourself playing. You can say update on the games, all that good stuff. Question nine, which was the first in the Star Wars Jedi Knight video game series? Mysteries of the Sith, Dark Forces, or Jedi Academy? Might be the nerdiest question we'll ever ask in the history of HQ. <laughs> it's not just Star Wars trivia, it's Star Wars video game trivia. You gotta know your Star Wars and your Star Wars video games. And the first in the Jedi Knight series was Dark Forces. Ooh, spooky stuff. Dark Forces, 82 people remember that uh, this came out in 1995 for your computer, 1996 for PlayStation.
They're weasels and they're hedgehogs. A lot of weird animals we have on this great planet. Question 11, 17 people left, guys. The Bass Lag series of weird fiction novels are by which author? Grant Morrison, China Mieville, or Jeff Vandermill? V Mir, sorry. Jeff Vandermeer, China Mieville, and Grant Morrison. Those are your options. Another toughie, getting deep into the sci-fi, weird fiction genres. The Balag series. China Mieville is your answer. China, China, China.